Hello everybody, welcome back. Pom Vincent here. Another uh, video in Canada this time. Um, well, today's video, another trick on how to stay raw. It's the mindset again, it's a mindset video. Um, you want to be a raw fooder, you want to be a raw vegan. You don't want to eat a raw vegan diet, you want to be a raw vegan. Labels are, are, are uh, you know, like kind of like, ugh, you know, like nobody likes a label, right? But sometimes labels are, can, can be very useful. If you identify yourself to something, you slowly build your mind towards that. It's not just a meal, it's not just a diet, it's a personality, it's, it's a lifestyle. So if you want to be a runner, if you, if you want to go jogging once, it's one thing, but if you want to become a guy who just jog, who goes for jogging and it's, it's, it's a lifestyle, and you call yourself a jogger, if you want to be a raw vegan, somebody who eats raw vegan, it's his diet, it's, it's his lifestyle. You're not just eating it, you're, you are a raw vegan. It's kind of subtle, this advice, it's kind of subtle. Most people would, uh, would say, well, duh, I'm a raw vegan. Everybody's proud of it. I'm sure you, the first thing that comes out of your mouth when you meet somebody new, <laughs> which can be a big mistake. You know, identifying yourself as a raw vegan in public, very powerful, very powerful because you can be um, labeled as that and people will expect you to be that. And it will give you kind of uh, this little, uh, uh, how do you say, like an obligation. <laughs> Otherwise, you just kind of look stupid. Look like you uh, you're just just talk. You're just uh, a bit hypocritical or, or not uh, consistent, congruent. You want to be congruent. So, you know, walk the talk. So talk a lot. So you <laughs> These are little mind tricks, you know? It's, not, it's uh, whatever works, whatever works. You want to apply all these little tricks, all of them, to go in public and tell people. Maybe you want to be more realistic. You want to say you're a raw vegan and you're doing a 30-day challenge. You're doing a one-year challenge. Tell, tell everybody about your, your goal. This, this will make it even stronger in people's mind and your mind because it's kind of like easy to say, oh, I'm going to do it forever, you know, or, or just say, uh, I'm a raw vegan now and you've just started two weeks ago and people will look at you like, uh-huh, uh-huh, and when you go back a week later with uh, a sandwich in your hands and your co-workers will look at you, will look at you like, oh, <laughs> obviously. But if you say, oh, I'm trying this for 30 days or for six months or for one year, you know, a year again, it's almost as if you said always. But if you say 30 days, this is very powerful. So people, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they respect that. They respect the 30 day challenge. If you quit for 30 days, anything, people will, people will respect that. Even if they like and they, they, <laughs> and they are pro eating this or doing this thing you're quitting like cigarettes yeah obviously but say, saying you're gonna quit you know rice and beans cooked food in general you're gonna quit soy milk oh who's, got, who's against soy milk vegan cheese vegan food you're gonna quit all that people will like nah but if you do it for 30 days you're like okay yeah why not why not it's an experiment you know <laughs> so so yeah, do yourself a, a favor and, and identify yourself to raw vegan, fruitarian, fruitarian. That sounds a bit flimsy. People are like, oh, really? Fruitarian? That means just fruits? No, 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 no. Mostly fruits. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for today. Hope you like my video and uh, like and subscribe, please. See you in two days.